Here I have four geometries so you can see them in 3D Studio Max so we're going to export these to a standard mesh file. Under Battlefield Tools select Model, Import and Export. Press Add Level Detail. Then you can pick your main visible mesh. Now here you'll see Auto Generate Level Details is checked. What this will do is it'll generate up to the specified number of models so then it will optimize performance at further distance from the camera. So as the model gets further away from the camera, it gets less detail and it takes less time to render. Then we're going to pick our collision mesh, the low detail and the high detail. Now we're going to have BSP optimization checked. That will just speed up performance on more complex collision models. Force material ID. This will force a material ID value to the entire mesh. We're not going to have that checked because we're going to set up manual. Now, there's edible poly and there's edible mesh. Both have similar functions. Both, you want to select the polygon, and then you can select individual polygons on the object. Now here you'll see under surface properties, you'll see, or under polygon properties on an edible poly. We can change the material ID to whatever we want. Now we'll have light map unchecked. You only want to use that on buildings or objects that are going to have light maps rendered to them. We're going to have simple shader unchecked because we don't want the material, advanced material settings to be ignored. If simple shader were checked, it would only export the texture name and ignore all the advanced material settings. The scale, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's a percentage value, so 200% is twice as much, 50% is half as much. Custom bounding box, this will allow you to specify a mesh to use as the custom minimum and maximum point. If none is specified, it will simply use the minimum and maximum point on the main visible mesh. Bounding box is used for physics calculations and camera clipping. Shadow mesh, we can pick our shadow geometry. And that's it. We can export the file, specify a file name, and hit save.